Welcome back folks. It's only been nine days since I put up my video testing out these greenhouse kits and I was always planning on doing a full review once the process was done but I was expecting it to take weeks and weeks before I had anything substantial to show but I kept checking on them and I left them on the floor with the cover on and it was only about four or five days until check it out we got small sprouts coming up and I was shocked at how well this worked. None of the flowers have even to this point started to root and there is like almost a little bit of mold growing in there which i'll show you in a second but the beans the some of the peas some of the beans and the recreational seeds have started to sprout and since then today is day nine look at where we are i had to take this tupperware so i could pull out the plants that were starting to sprout really tall because they were already after only a week getting too big to stay in that greenhouse and since i've taken them out and pulled them out here they have grown quite a substantial amount and I do keep putting water in here. Uh, the roots or systems are pretty crazy on some of them. These ones have even somehow interlocked. Uh, so that's gonna be a bit tough to separate when I do plant them in uh, maybe nursery pots or small planters because I wanna get them out of here before they get way too root bound. I am gonna cut off this mesh or this membrane that's around them to really ensure that the roots have a lot of freedom to spread but so I want to do my full re uh, review on it and before I get down to the actual full review on how well these work I just figured I was going to take the other pack I went out the other day and bought a bunch more seeds uh, so I'm not going to do any of the flowers I don't think because so far eh, the so far the flowers haven't worked so I'm going to start off with some carrots and onions uh, cucumbers and tomatoes and see how many seeds I can get in there. Maybe if there's a little bit of spot left then I'll plant some flowers. So let's take a look inside the original uh, greenhouse kit so we can see the progress that's being made. So obviously these are the ones that I've pulled out. Inside here we have a few more coming up. This one's getting ready. It looks like this one's sprouting a bit. This is a, the flower pods. Don't seem to be having any luck with those a couple of the beans not sure this oh this one looks like it's going this one we got some green in there so we're gonna add some water and keep making sure there's moisture in here i'm gonna keep adding water making there's moisture in here till i plant them but i definitely wanted to try if a little bit more of a variety in the next greenhouse kit to get started to see what works and what doesn't because like I said, I had no luck with any of the flower seeds I planted in here. Um, but these are super great because, you know, they're really mimicking kind of the conditions that seeds need for germination by keeping this top on it and letting sunlight in um, with the pockets that they're in. The way I, I think it works is that it's giving it a dark, damp, but warm environment, which is very similar to, I guess, the the environment that a seed sits in over the winter when it gets buried or when you know it falls off of a tree or a fruit or a plant and kind of gets mixed up covered in leaves covered in dirt covered in compost and then over the winter it stays in that darkness and hibernates and then when the spring comes out the sun is shining everything's warming up it's got that moisture it's got that dampness that darkness and that warmth so that's my take on it I'm not 100 percent sure you can check in on that but this like look at this this is crazy a week and we got plants that are ready to go in the garden unfortunately it's still only the beginning of may so we got to wait a couple more weeks before we have the guarantee of no frost so yeah i'm gonna plant some more seeds we're gonna do it properly this time and then in about a week hopefully we'll see some fruits and i'll check back in with you and give you the full review for plant best greenhouse kits let's do it so we're gonna get her opened up like we discussed in the earlier video when we did it last week there's no real instructions but we learned the hard way last time and we're gonna start off very obviously with a lot of water we're not afraid of getting too much water in here anymore i watered them you know a couple times over the last week uh, to make sure there's enough moisture content in here. We're gonna let this soak up and they're gonna get filled and we're gonna have them and then we're gonna have a much easier time with our, our seed planting this time. A little bit more water. Mm -hmm. 
They seem to take a lot more water than you would think, so we'll just give them another minute to absorb some of that, because you can see some of them are still not fully uh, expanded. And they're still a little bit hard. Okay, so this uh, really doesn't even take that long. It's only been about 10 minutes since I put the water in. And you can see, you know, we're getting there. I think it's, they're heavy, thick, but they're heavy and, uh, you know, starting to absorb that water. So I think we're gonna start off with our super steak tomatoes. Ooh, these are tiny little seeds. I think I'm gonna put two in each. And then I'm going to read the instructions <laughs> and make sure that's not a mistake. It says we should do one at a time, but I'm going to do three, three in here, three in here, two in here, two in here. So we got tomatoes, check. Now we're going to do our bunching onions, our green onions, our grunions. Well, let's read the instructions first. Thin rows. I think we'll just do the same thing. We'll do a pinch here, a pinch here, a pinch here, a pinch here. I honestly don't know how many I've put in. But I'm hoping overcrowding isn't an issue. This one says you want to put them in bunches of four to six. So that's what we'll do. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Uh oh. Four. 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 I guess we have to try and get them out of here. That was a mistake. Okay, we're gonna have an experiment where we try and grow two different things in that pot. <laughs> oh, well, we got three more out, so we'll put another one in here. And we'll put two more in here. And last, we have carrots. And for our carrots, we're gonna do same same thing as the. Uh, okay. Pinch a pinch, a pinch, a pinch. I'm gonna move these over. Whew. So we have all our veggies next to each other. Okay, no more of <laughs> messing around. And now we have one more row. So I think I'm going to try, what should I do? These are big seeds, so I think they'll bloom. But I do wanna try them. So I'm gonna do one, 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 and then one with a mixture of these, of all three. Yes. Okay. Ford hook favorites, one. And one for the mixture, which will be the last one. Columbine Harlequin. These are very tiny seeds, so we're gonna do, I think there's six there, in there, and then another pinch in the mix, whatever that is. And then finally the papaya cream mix. One in there. I guess one in the mix. Ah, ah. Excellent. Now we're gonna just add some more water. Is they gonna be thirsty? Now we can put the lid on and go put it on our little table beside our other greenhouse kit and we'll wait a week and come back and see how it worked. And at that point, I will give you my full review of the plant best greenhouse kits. <laughs> Bye plants. See you in a week. So it's been about a week since we did our second round of germinations with the plant best greenhouse kits. Let's take a look and see how they're doing. Let's check this one first. This was the first round. Oh, we do have a couple little things starting to sprout. 
maybe they can get planted. And now let's take a look at, oh my God. Oh, we do have some flowers coming up. These were our flowers. We have some cucumbers. We accidentally dropped some cucumbers in there. Oh, we got a couple things sprouting up out of everywhere. Excellent. Let's take this outside. So if you didn't see the last video where we did our spring cleaning and started our balcony garden, I'll show you right here. We planted the beans and peas that were the first sprouters in there. Uh, we also got some other stuff going. If you're interested to watch the journey of this garden, go check out that video. So today we're gonna plant these cucumber plants and get them ready to go in the soil and get them ready to grow out here because they are getting a bit big for the greenhouse kit. And the one thing that I do wanted to talk about is the rooting systems in this paper, which I'm not really sure about. There wasn't a whole lot of information involved, but you do have to be super delicate if you try and take this off because you don't want to rip the roots. And that's what I find. And because I don't know what this is made out of and you know, even with these ones from the first kit where, you know, they've been sitting in water and in the heat for so long and it hasn't even, it doesn't look like it started to decompose at all. It makes me nervous about planting anything inside of this. So I do want to take it off to avoid um, any potential root, root binding, getting them root bound. But I did find that it was super difficult to get this off properly without breaking off some of the roots. So that is something to be aware of when you're gonna plant them. So we're gonna super carefully try and take, unfold this and take it off. Kind of let the roots go through the holes they've already made. It's a bit time consuming. You can see how they, they get caught there. And then this puck or whatever it is starts to fall apart in your fingers. Now, when I did the beans and the peas, I ended up ripping off quite a lot of roots, but they seem like they're doing okay. Let's plant these. So I've got in here a mix of topsoil and a mixture of pro mix for vegetables and herb gardens. And uh, I know the spacing on the seed packets is a little bit much so we're just gonna chuck them in here we're just gonna dig a little bit of a hole plop right in bam we're gonna put them all in here carefully take off the casing trying to avoid ripping off as much roots as possible is that obviously for cucumbers, we need a trellis we can stick in there. And uh, we'll just give her some water. Once we get it situated, we can figure out where these cucumbers are gonna live. I'm thinking over here with the rest of the veg. I don't think the lettuce needs as much sun. There we go. They might get moved around, but we are gonna give her some water and make sure we don't get any on the leaves. So yeah, as for the rest of this stuff, some of it's starting to sprout, some of it not so much. Um, I'm just gonna play around. I might have to get more soil, but I got lots of little pots. So I'm pretty much sure that I'm gonna plant all of these things in pots somehow or another. I'm not really sure how much any of it will grow, but as for these plant-based greenhouse kits with the germination packs, because I have seen those packs in other places that don't have these little pellets inside, it's just the trays. So I guess you can do with egg cartons or just with soil. Um, I think these are great. Uh, it is a little bit tricky with the root systems trying to get that cloth out. Mind you, I haven't tried planting anything that's germinated with the cloth. So I don't really know what, if there's any issues with that. It just, I just felt like I should take them off because they don't seem like they're biodegrading. And although, yeah, a lot of the roots were sticking through, some of them when I took the roots off had roots that hadn't uh, hadn't broken through yet. And I just think 
hopefully I made the right call by uh, sacrificing some of the smaller roots to get that material off. As for the germination, I mean, the stuff that worked worked great. Uh, some of the other things that are taking a little bit longer, I don't know if I should leave them longer. These, the stuff in this first tray has been in there for two and a half weeks and some of it is starting to get a little bit of uh, like a mold on top of it, you can see. And uh, there's not really too much more action. Some of these beans have sprouted again. Some of the peas, none of the flower seeds seem to be doing anything except getting moldy and where the veggies are concerned we got some movement on all the different veggies we got i think the bunching onions the carrots and the tomato plants all coming up and we even have one of the flower seed things poking through so I'm gonna mess around and plant all this stuff. If you're interested to see how well this stuff goes throughout the season, definitely hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. And pay attention to the plants propagation and gardening playlist because there's gonna be lots of videos coming up through the season as we kind of adjust and figure out the story behind our green space here and kind of watch our plants. We've got all kinds of stuff from seed and stuff from self boxes. And we've got wildflowers kind of that we've just sown in these boxes. So we're on a bit of a gardening journey out here. This is, like I said before, the first full season we're going to get out here since we renovated the patio and gave it that makeover to make this like a really livable space that inspires and allows you to relax and, you know, that we can come out here and, and enjoy the summer. So yeah, definitely if you're looking to get some stuff started, especially in a hurry, I would try these cell packs these greenhouse kits they seem to work really well i mean it's hit or miss with flower seeds but so far every kind of food item that i've tried to use in here has germinated uh, with you know varying degrees of success and you know super easy the first ones i put water in you know when i put the seeds in a third of the pods had germinated the second one i think we watered once in between and i mean they're doing well too so I mean, this is a thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment if you found this review helpful or if you have any gardening tips or tricks of your own, let me know. And yeah, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell because we got lots more fun stuff coming up. You can do inside and out. Take it, Ace.